Oops. <laughs> I messed that up. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Dragonborn, and uh, this is three uh, simulators. Well, can I call them simulators because they are like simulators. Uh, the first one I play is uh, Soul Smash, which is basically is Earth, destroying Earth simulator. The uh, second one is Universe Sandbox, so basically that's like destroying planet. Every, that's basically like everything you can actually possibly do. Amazing game, it's on Steam, buy it, you'll not regret it, you'll never get bored. And the third one is Floating Sandbox, I got that off Game Jolt. So I will leave all that in the description. On this one though, uh, it's a mobile game. Uh, but you can actually, I'll leave the uh, description below. Uh, you go install a, a player to actually play it. It's kind of great because you can actually play games off your phone, off a of Play Store, if you're Android. I don't know if it works for iPhone users, I'm not sure. You'll have to just find out and check. It's free, by the way, it is, it's free. Um, so, yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. It's basically a lot of editing out, a lot of messing about, but you know, it's worth it in every way. So, Thank you. Nah, uh, the thing is, this actually looks like a phone. So basically, you got your battery and your thing. I'm not. I'm actually on the mouse. I'm actually on mouse and keyboard. But it's a nice little software where you can actually record. Well, you can't record games because you have to have another software for that. But you can actually play games without looking down at your phone. Time. And if your phone goes flat, it actually saves the data from your phone. See, so you, this so good. So I thought, well, I'm not gonna play anymore. I just, I just want to play Soul Smash on this. Uh, if you want more games for me to play, download, I'll play them, and um, and do all crap. So I'll be back when Soul Smash load. So this is Soul Smash. So basically, there's actually not up no dates at the moment. So basically you can do all these stuff, you can use aliens to destroy the planet, you can even use a damn boat just to chuck it. Yep. And when it stops like that it's kind of annoying because it, yeah, it's not actually stopped yet. I don't know if I'm just... What's happened to it? Oh, I'll be back. And we're back. So yeah, you can actually do most things. Or for this little bloody record, because I'm not actually using the game recorder, I'm actually using the screen recorder of Bambicam. Because uh, for some reason the game on won't actually connect actually to this. So it's kind of a bit annoying because I prefer the game when you see, because it actually is just a lot better because you haven't got a border all the way around, so you, you might see uh, a few bits out of line because you can't really. I can, well, I, well, other people can, but I really can't. So we're going to have another go at uh, one of these a tip. So basically, it's, it's actually not really a simulator, it's actually just basic earth wrecking simulator. So yeah, you, you can just, basically it's just destroy earth. You can even put a black hole in it if you want to, and this is... Hi. So yeah, basically this is what this is. It's why it's not really going to be a very long video. But the reason why I want to record this video is for a few things. One. On the other one I'm going to explain further, but on this, I was actually messing about with it for such recording. And I pressed the black hole. And then I looked at Universe Sandbox and thought, well, what's really different if I just a black hole at Earth? What would it actually do? I mean, this just basically just has just took off the planet off. Well, not off it, but a quarter of it. So really, I wanted to know. Then I thought, you know, I might as well just do a video on this. See what everybody th else thinks to it. But I don't. No. I'm back. <laughs> Is that worse than watching adverts? Seriously. But yeah, there's kind of different things like these. Uh, Basically, planet Earth in about 2,000 years time, some stuff like that. Uh, I don't know if this is actually Earth, but it's got a population, so I'm presuming it is. So yeah, 
there's actually really not much else to do once you've explored everything, what everything do. I mean, that just literally destroyed. That you can even chop this in half if you really wanted to. But they have put some right detail into this, that they have. They have literally put some detail into it. I know it don't look like I'm actually going through it, but you'll see in a minute. Well, some games do that, don't they? The, uh, basically, they act like they're going through something, but they actually don't. If you've got a plus, by the way, I will put one on it first we get into this. So basically, it's... It's nearly through. Just, just a few bit more. I mean, it's still 3.8, 2.8 basically, 3.8 million people still living. I mean, real life, this would actually kill everybody. So yeah, you can just split it in half. And these are literally awesome. Basically there, so you took a laser set it, and it explodes it completely. Kind of amazing. But like I said, there's not much really else to do. So yeah, that's that's really all there is to do on that one. But I just wanted just to compare. Now I'm gonna load up the universe sandbox. It's actually loading up as a speed. Um, but I want to compare of. What will happen if I launched a black hole at Earth on Universe Sandbox? So every game has different opinions. And not many people know that, but some games have a lot of opinions as to what would happen, because actually it probably never happened anyway, so... I press one button. <laughs> so anyway, better, we're not actually going to do this. We're actually going to uh, have a new simulation. I wasn't going to do it like that, but you know what, bug it. So basically what we're going to do is, just to see what happens when a black hole hits Earth in this game. We are going to add an object. We are going to go to planets. We are going to add Earth. We are going to literally keep it still. Let's really keep it still. And Earth is freezing up. So. Pretend Earth is actually fine. I know the launch. So we're going to launch something now. We're going to launch a black hole. Now, Cyrus A, how big is that? That is massive. Is there any smaller ones? Massive ones, Sun. Well, it looked like massive ones, Sun. That other one. What's that one? Oh, it says they look. <laughs> right, so we're going to launch... Well, that was quick. Um, yeah, well, uh, we've just seen how that goes then. I'll be right, people. What if we... I don't, it's like two things. There's this capture on this game, and there's a capture what I'm using. Could we let... The uh, Earth. No, let like a black hole orbit Earth. I don't know. I I was trying to think then. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, we're gonna, oh. That's got to be straight. Where are you going? Oh, black holes there, isn't it? Which you can't really see black holes. The black hole is actually there. So are we just going close to it then, basically? 
We've got to be, am we? We've got to be going closer. We've got to be. I think. Hmm. Let's pause it. Let's let's do another simulation. Empty it. Yes. Don't auto save. We don't need to auto save. <laughs> right. Let's add. So remember, we are keeping this one still. Planet Earth. Put that there. Come back a bit. Then we're gonna orbit. Uh, back hole. So basically, oh my god, Earth's there. Earth's a shot. So is that what happened? Why is it fragments everywhere though? Earth, get your ass here. What exactly happened to Earth? It looks untouched. So basically, let's get it straight. So let's get this straight. No matter what you do with a black hole and Earth, it's either going to get sucked in or it's going to get chucked away. Yeah. Right, I'm only guessing. I've actually just got this working. So you'll probably see me talk about. Uh, getting this game to work while I was on about at the end of this video you're seeing it, it's here it's a, it were a right awful game to get going because it do not like Bambi Cam it, it's, it's basically like petrol versus a flame it's, it goes it goes ape crap, it starts lagging, it starts doing awful awful stuff, I don't know if I'm just going to work all the way through by the way so about eight or, this is not too similar to now, even though I said it's too similar to, well blowing up earth simulators so I might as well do three and the reason I see Titan because this is this is the, the this is the default ship you see so basically this game is free it's just been updated um, basically you can do actually anything on this game if you want uh, basically you can just destroy Titanic if you want it's not just Titanic in the game there's a lot more ships this is just the default ship you had to just start up with, basically. Uh, you can alter the terrain, you can alter, basically you can just alter everything. And then sad music comes on because it's sinking. I mean, it's perfect. You can repair the ship by the way, but if once it starts sinking, it's, it's not going back. Do, do. There's many more tunes uh, sinking. There's um, I thought you call it now. It's Sleeping Sun song. I'll leave a link in the description and uh, on YouTube. I'll just find it on YouTube and just plank it in and just go be right. Uh, there's many things you got to do. With a, you can actually just load ship and there's these lot. All right, it's what people have made. But I mean, you could have like just tells you a bit of information about it. Some ships have got engines on like this has. This uh, you can you can actually just sail them if you wanted to. So yeah. Some ships you can uh, alter lights on them. It depends what people have done. It's kinda of amazing. Uh th yeah, there's a Dalek from 1987, just I think just I think just because Oh no, no, doesn't sink. So yeah, but like, so you can't really do all. There's nothing you can actually do with it, so it's. I think this song's off Titanic. So we're gonna use this one. Oh, we got lights as well. Put them on. I didn't mean to do that.
There's no go. I did not mean to do that. I am so sorry. Reload and I'm gonna be back. Be fine. Uh, I just realised that is a lot better. So I should have done that in the first place. So I do apologise. Right. So basically, as you see, boring. So you think you know what? Why can't I? I can't, I've not played this in a while, by the way. So where's nah? It should be. Uh, repair flow, destroy radius. Destroy radius is on a hundred percent. So when you press it, no, nope, wrong one. <laughs> Give me a minute. I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. Where is it now? I'll be back when I find it. I think I found it. No, I haven't found it yet. Heat blaster. Radius. Radius. That's that, isn't it? There we go. So basically, if you keep this on. So that's that. Yeah. So yeah, basically, you've got a lot of tools. Like you've even got the where's that? Uh, you could literally, literally alter the uh, where's it gone? There it is. You know when it's like the storm, you put soul strength on, put rain flood on, duration of the storm, storm rate 120. Well this is a boring storm, I thought shit was going to sink. Oh there's a rude way about this way. I like how that ship's flexing. Fair anyway, I think this, I think the ship's about 185 foot. There we go. We're at the thick. We're starting to get the thicker right now. We are sailing it. So I put Saxon sailing to America. I can't put the song in the video. I'll get it done for copyright. I don't think the ship's gonna last people. I don't think it's gonna last people. Hey, it's not doing bad. It's doing amazing. I'm going to raise the voice up a bit because it's getting a bit loud. Turn the lights on. Oh no, it's splitting off, look. Oh, we've lost it. We've lost it. The hell? Show the heater tank on.
What's that music? Oh my god. Free load ship. I think this ship took us some abuse. So now we're gonna have to alter set this back to default. Put front of us. It, it's going to the back of us. We're screwed. A tsunami warning, people. Are we going to die? Well, rest in pieces. That's SOS. I don't know Moscow, but I know that's SOS. Well, uh, it's going to take a while. Do you fancy a uh, drink, anybody? I mean, uh, 12 minutes later. Oh, he's on his way. He's coming. He's coming. When Sasha Bob's trying to kill Krusty Clown in, uh, in that airplane, I'll put a thing on. Uh, the hell is that? A lawnmower? What is the freaking holdup? Die, Krusty! You know what I mean? Ah, oh, yeah, it is. Obviously, is it gonna survive it? My wheels just cut on. Oh, front end's keeping it up. Is it gonna hold it up? Any sirens, people? Does lights work? We've got no lights, but any still works, people. We lost the fight, Arr. I don't think this ship should go down. I think this ship. Wait! Oh. Wait! Wait! This may take a while. Don't know where the ship's gone. It's gone somewhere. This may take for about about a six six ton ship going flying down. <sighs> Lovely. We got, we got. I don't know where the ship is. Where is it? <laughs> oh my god! I just all do press the tank eater. Have I just pushed a bit more diesel through to engine? So yeah, so I just thought I'd do a slow video on them too. Uh, I will try and find a link for, it's called LD Player and there's a thing that comes with it called LD Multiplayer which I don't really use that anyway, it's just LD Player I use. But if you want me to play any more games on the LD player, which is basically your phone, but on computer, like I said earlier on, uh, let me know in the description below. Uh, Universe Sandbox is on Steam, so if you want to buy that, just go on to the Steam and type in Universe Sandbox. Bit pr it's actually not that price, I think it's about 15 quid in British. In, I think in British, in, in, well, basically British money. 
uh, probably about twenty dollars in America, and about the same in uh, euro. In euro. Uh, it's fantastic. It, you got tons of stuff to do, but to be honest, I don't think I'm actually good enough to, have to do a video on it. Uh, I know bits and bobs. I had another game called Floating Sandbox. Uh, I can't record that game because it won't allow me to and I don't know why. So if it's in this video it's obviously worked but if not I will try and get it working. Uh, it won't work with when I use uh, a screen recorder off Steam which I fell out with because it, it kept failing my videos so I've gone back to Bambicam. Because Bamcam is the best thing in the world, I think. Anyway, it's so easy to use. Uh, like I said, if you don't see it in this video, I do apologise, but I will get Flood Sandbox uh, working. Basically, it's ship sinking simulator. It's it's got a little fun game. But the same again. It's it's it'll be like a ten minute video because there's not much really to do apart from blow stuff up and that. So I'm gonna set this. If you've seen it, thank you all for watching. Please say what's on the screen, Sam. I've done as well as still you in the next episode. Bye bye.